So that was a, a 2-1 record. Um, the fourth living end, I don't mind as a hedge. I think it's the sideboard thing that I kept doing against Death Shadow, against Surgical, is worth noting. Uh, just minimize the odds of it being in your hand when you get discard spelled so you can't get exiled. Archfiend, I don't think is good. Um, even when I cast it and it was good, it was like half good. So I think I'd cut it. Just up a dead shot. And then maybe up a carry Zevs. Could do something like that. Uh, could also just be up a Spirit Guide. Not sure on that. Leyline board was not super impressive. It's possible. I think Shriek Maul might be more interesting. I don't know what... I gotta do a bit more digging to figure out what the replacement card is, but these were not great here. I mean, that's not the job of Leyline of the Void, I'll tell you that, but... Leyline of Sanctity against the Shadow Decks is, I think, just okay. Not super amazing. I think the ones you're going to lose to are Stubborn Denial decks, so I, I don't think Leyline's uh, the end-all be-all there. Though it does turn off Neil Spellbomb, which is cute, but they're likely to just have Surgical, I think. That one's close. I got to do a little more deck list research. Um, but I'm inclined to believe that Leyline of Sanctity is not the card you're looking for. and That some quantity of Shriek Maul might be better. Anyways, uh, this deck's great. It's really powerful, as you saw through those games. Uh, your opponents just kind of do nothing and die a lot of the time. And, uh, you know, just all these living ends were just for so much so fast. Uh, just, you know, having an extra four power per iteration or whatever is just a huge deal. Maybe I'm underestimating Fulminator against Shadow. I don't know. I'm going to put in a lot more reps and we'll see where this ends up. But it cannot be too far off of this.